and human rights activist Olatunji Larry Barua joins us now for more. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you for having me. So we've discussed the droughts in East Africa before. The UN World Food Program keeps giving warnings also, and it seems that solutions are not really forthcoming. What more can be done? What more can be done? I, I think um, so, solving the, the drought is uh, beyond, it's not a man-made uh, problem. It's, an, it's a natural occurrence, and most of it are attributable to uh, the climate crisis. And what, what that means is that uh, it's beyond the control of the people who are the, you know, in the Horn of Africa, you know, Kenya, Ethiopia, Somalia, and the rest of them. But most of the problem have also been exacerbated by the prevalence of uh, armed conflicts in some of these regions and, and, and other complex humanitarian issues. And this has complicated the entire, you know, solutions that people could come with. So, but what more can be done? It's, um, it's, it's a factor of, um, I'm looking at local and global solutions to this right now. I know there's been a lot of effort by the World Food Program, by Oxfam, by a whole lot of, by even the, uh, the UN uh, humanitarian bodies. There's a whole lot of program going on, but I think people are also helpless with the conflict. And it will require a certain level of, um, the, you need both uh, political uh, solutions to some of the conflict that hinders access. And once the, the political solutions are, you know, preferred and people are able to adhere to it, you can now, you know, call in for outside help. Outside help, we know, food can come into the people. Because right now, this is uh, a serious problem for this region. We've endured uh, a drought in 2010-2011. We've endured the one in 2016-2017. And the most recent one, the 2020-2021, uh, is leading to, it seems to be aggravating or is being aggravated by a whole lot of other complex global issues at the moment because you have inflation, you have food scarcity, you know, all across the world right now, which is causing a lot of tension for countries and different governments. Which actually leads me to my uh, next question. Do you think not enough attention is being paid to with this when you compare it to crises like uh, what we're seeing in Ukraine? <clears throat> I think um, the Horn of Africa has received uh, considerable attention over the last couple of uh, years, even decades. I've known of the crisis in the Horn of Africa for, so, for such a long time. And I used to wonder, why is there drought in that region? You know, why are people, we remember the very, very uh, painful uh, picture of a child, um, you know, that was um, severely malnourished and, you know, a vulture standing over her in somewhere, I think somewhere in Somalia, about two, about decades ago, two decades or there about ago. And you know, those are pictures that still haunt our memories today. So this crisis has always been, has been hung. And I think there's been a lot of effort, but also uh, there's been attention really. We, um, right now, a lot of resources in the global north is going towards the uh, crisis in Ukraine, you know, towards other intervention, you know, across uh, Europe and all that, and especially the refugee crisis that the russian ukraine uh, war has um, uh, triggered. But right now, that may have reduced intervention to, this, uh, to the Horn of Africa. That may also have reduced um, contribution from the regular donors. And you can't take out donor fatigue also in this uh, particular situation because you keep pumping in money, pumping in money, and then you don't seem to see light at the end of the tunnel. But this is a climate issue. And this, the climate angle to heat, the environmental dimension is the reason why I feel we can globalize a problem. Globalize a problem, why we are talking about, you know, climate, uh, um, uh, climate justice, we can also talk about uh, how the South, the global South, has been at the receiving end of most of the industrialization, most of the productive capacity of the North. When you talk about greenhouse emission, the productive capacity of Africa is extremely low compared to what uh, our contribution to greenhouses. If you look at even uh, 
animal poultry, animal farming in the West is much more damaging to, you know, the climate than, you know, anything else you can think on the continent of Africa. So globalizing the problem is being able to call the attention of everybody. You know, we are seeking global justice. We need to pay attention to this. We need to help these people and we need to keep the problem on the front burner. So what you're doing right now, the media needs to keep alighting the problem and bringing the crisis to, you know, to the rest of the world to focus on that. We can't turn the way from the Horn of Africa. We can't turn away from Somalia. We can't turn away from, you know, Kenya and, and Ethiopia. All right, then, human rights activist, Olatunji Lanrubarua, thank you so much for your thoughts on the program. Anytime. Thank you, sir.